I'm Emily. I'm Drew. And we're the Vangeras, and we've been married for six years coming up this August. This is Jim and Aaron, and this June we'll be married 25 years. Don and Kara Evans, and in July we'll be married 32 years. I'm Gracie's grandma, Gloria, and uh, I've been I was married for 48 years to uh, her grandpa, Albert Garner. In terms of changing since we've got married, we've added our two beautiful girls and when they came along at first, nothing really changed except for now that they're older, the affection changes as they don't want us to be affectionate. So our oldest daughter will joke with us and say, you're not getting married again or not let him hug me. Yeah, anytime I go close to her to hug her or kiss her, she kind of tries to separate us, which is kind of funny. But other than that, yeah. I would say it's about the yeah. same. So passion or emotions, I think it's the same intensity as it was. Um, since we first got married. I think that when you first start a relationship and the passion is directed, it's all a selfish thing. It's all, um, you don't have any other responsibilities, so you're able to put all that passion into your relationship. And then the longer your relationship grow, goes, the more you have to solve problems and divide your time. And so your passions kind of stay the same, but they're directed into other places. From too. my standpoint, I, I think the, the passion is still, the passion is still in, in our marriage. Uh, the familiarity though, when you've been married for 32 years, there's, there's a lot of familiarity. Uh, so you're, you're busy, you're caught up in your day-to-day -day life. And I think sometimes it may look like on the outside that you don't have the passion but I think the passion is still there. I think it's just the, in other ways, the, the fact that when you, you see the person right. and uh, you think about the person daily, that that, that passion is, is, mm -hmm. is still there. There's no doubt about it. Pretty much the same thing. Passion is still there, and it's way different back at years number one through five. And then as children came or grandchildren and who was in the list still living in our home and who wasn't. So it has just evolved. But the basic bottom line passion is the still. first years that you're married, we were madly in love. <laughs> and then uh, when your kids come, you just don't have that much time together that you would like. But we always had each other all those years. And uh, Al was very, very sweet to me. And I was to him. And then uh, when the kids came, it's it's a lot different because you're up all night with the kids when they're sick. But then when they get older, we have lots of fun with all three of our kids. They were in sports. They were very good in school. So we did have a lot of fun. In regards to support and just communication and different things. I think we were blessed to meet each other early and then get married. So that aspect didn't change, but it's evolved as we've had our children, as we've built our home, as we've transitioned into jobs and different things. And you just have to learn to work with each other. We always refer to each other as a team and we're the two co-captains of our team. And I think that's our biggest thing of going, we have to be on the same page for everything in our house or it's just not gonna work. And if there's your bills and stuff like that, if you're not on the same page, if you're spending money and not knowing what I'm spending money on, it's the same thing. So communication is essential in that aspect. So emotion, I think, like when you were saying about um, in time it changes because you actually have to share because you start a family, so you have kids and other you know people attached to the family, so you have to kind of um, divide your time um, among amongst uh, everyone that's there. So it's, it's a little bit different, you don't necessarily have as much time for each other, you have to uh, make time, you know. Right, and also that's the person that should know you the best. So when you start in the early parts of your relationship and you, um, you are learning everything about a person, as time goes by, then that's the person that should know the most about you. So um, they'll know what makes you upset. They'll know what makes you happy. They'll know your background. They know everything about you more than anybody else. So it just continues to grow 
the longer you stay. Same thing, that emotional, that you're so familiar, that you're so in tune with what's going on, that um, you know, you know, the sadness, you know, the happy times, you're, you, the everyday, and um, so yeah, you're just very more familiar, more in tune with it as the decades go by. Uh, you know, you you want the you're so happy that the person had has had a good day that you that you know your your mate um, and you're so happy when you you know when I come home every day I get a chance to see her I'm so happy that I get that opportunity and I hope that she had a good day and and I wish she had a good day and you th you think about that person all day long I mean you at times you have to you know you have to compartmentalize it and put. You know, you're doing other things, your day's busy, but in the back of your mind, you're always thinking about that person and how's her day going, what's she doing, that and that type of thing from, from, from my standpoint. Early on, at times, you always lose that. Times of sickness, that was bad towards the end. And because uh, I couldn't do anything for Papa. And uh, it was hard. That part there was very hard because I just didn't want him to be upset and stuff like that, but uh, there's not much you can do about it. But otherwise, we were fine. We had lots of fun together. I would say commitment-wise, we have been together a lot longer than we've been married. We met when we were in high school, and so we became best friends first, and then dated, and then got engaged, and so we had a longer engagement, and I think we've just become so respectful of each other and in regards to knowing what each other likes and doesn't like and knowing you know just what what aspect of respect we need to have for one another and I just think that we work well together because we're best friends. Yeah so before we were married we were best friends so I kind of believe you just transition into that and you just you just communicate and respect the person more and more every day so yeah. and that's, love what, them that's what we love. In terms of commitment it, I, I don't think it's really changed uh, but I think you the older you get, you almost think, what's it going to look like um, down the road because things start to change even more because the kids get more independent, they're on their own, and you start thinking um, and planning for, you know, being retired or older mm -hmm. and what, how, how is it going to go and how is that going to change things. Um, so I think it, that has to uh, evolve, you know, over time. And I think it also goes back to that beginning thing of when you start your relationship and you are just committed to each other. But the more your family grows and the more intertwined that all becomes, the commitment is to like a larger group also between the two of you, but also you're committed to your family also. I think in terms of commitment, we said this long ago. Um, we dated for a number of years before we got married. Eight to be exact. A number so, of years. You know. Um, when we got married, our wedding rings, which neither one of us is wearing right now, <laughs> but that's beside the point. Just because I can't fit it on. Have the word forever engraved in them. And all the time with our children and every time, that meant something. We were committed forever. Even though we don't have them on, we're still committed forever. So... That's where our commitment has been. I, I agree wholeheartedly. I can't. I really can't expand on that one anymore. It's, it's pretty much said it all. Just committed to one another. Then if you're mad one day, then you're not as committed. <laughs> and you wish that, you know, you, you'd say, why did I do this? But then it goes away. And the older we got, though, it seemed like we got closer. But, uh... We had our faith together. We had the kids. It just seemed like it was a perfect marriage. And then towards the end, it was horrifying to have to lose them. But I was lucky I had them for 48 years. 